Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In our previous lesson, we discussed the plot of the novel A Man of the People by Chinua Achebe. And we also explored the characters and the role that each character plays in the novel. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the major thematic themes in the novel. The major central ideas in the novel and we are going to be looking at them one after another. And from our discussion on the plot of the novel and the characters, uh, you will understand that one of the major um one of the major theme in the novel is that of corruption and it was because of that corruption that the government was toppled overthrown by the military and we saw a lot of greed and corruption in the life of chief m a nanga and also in the life of the minister of uh, overseas training chief coco and uh, we saw that the reason why all delay was even was almost killed by Chief Nanga was because all the lay was revealing through campaign was revealing the corruption and the corrupt practices happening in the in the government. And also we saw that Maxwell Akilo, Maxwell Makula also explored the entire corrupt practices in the government. And that also angered Chief Coco. So we saw that the mythical country in which this novel he said has recently won its independence from the white colonial rule and the colonial masters who handed over this rule of the country to the to the citizens handed it over to the yalaki that is those who have been serving the white masters so it there was no any transparent election that gives the people the opportunity to elect their leaders so the colonial masters handed over the uh, the power to their own people especially those who ca they can control people like chief nanga chief coco and some of other political elites in the country and also we saw that uh, when the country gained independence those in power focus on feathering their own nest by taking bribe and amassing wealth. So people like Chief Nanga is a prime example of corruption. And we also saw that uh, Odile's father also was even part of these corrupt practices because he was the district interpreter and at the same time the chairman, the council chairman of the POP political party. And how was he involved in the corrupt practices? Because Chief Nanga also gave him money and as a result of that he does not even want his son or delay to contest against chief nanga and all because of corruption or delay did not even want any other person to contest the parliamentary seat so that he can continue amassing wealth and after amassing wealth you can see from the chapter i think from chapter six of the novel where he was having sexual affair with a lot of ladies with agnes with sca with several people and then wanted to marry second wife edina so corruption is a recurrent motif in the entire novel from the beginning to the end. The another dominant thing in the novel is that of revenge. In fact, there was a lot of revenge from the beginning of the novel to the end of it in chapter 13. We saw that Odile was engaging in a risky revenge, in a situation whereby he wanted to revenge against Chief Nanga. Chief Nanga slept with Odile's girlfriend, Essie. And Odile was attempting, using every means to revenge that by sleeping with Edina, Chief uh, Nanga's uh, second wife or wife to be, and also even attempted to sleep with the uh, Miss Nanga, that is the first wife of uh, uh, Chief Nanga. And also, the revenge does not only is not only personal. You want to even do political revenge by contesting the parliamentary seat against Chief Nanga. Though Chief Nanga wants him never to contest against him, and Odile ignore the warning, and even the caution from Odile's father uh, that he should not contest against Chief Nanga, he ignore it. Why? Because he want to revenge all means because Chief Nanga slept with Estia, even in. Or delays present. So when SEA came to 
pay visit to pay a visit to chief to, to Odile, chief nanga now went to the guest room and had sexual affair with her so it was unforgivable sin for Odile, and he ensured that uh, he administered revenge in every way and also we saw that uh, chief coco also revenge against maxwell and uh, maxwell's fiance eunice also revenged, revenged by killing Chief Coco. No, Chief Coco gave money to Maxwell so that Maxwell would not contest against him because Maxwell was contesting for the parliamentary seat in Abra, where Chief Coco came from. And Chief Coco offered him bribe. And he accepted the bribe and he used the money to campaign for himself, to campaign for himself to win the election. So on the day of the election, Chief Coco targeted Maxwell and then he revenged by crushing Maxwell to death. And Eunice, an attempt to revenge the death of Maxwell, also pulled out a gun and then he shot Chief Coco dead. So that is also another form of uh, revenge. And we also see, also see in the novel, another form of revenge where the military, uh, uh, military, where the soldiers took over the government because a lot of things that were done by the civilian government was a form of revenge. Note that before the coming of the before the coming of the government of the civilian government, the military took over and they handed over the the government to a, an elected officer, to an elected president. And after that again the corruption was too much and the exploitation was worrisome. Even the military personnel were not even paid their salary. So they now plot and then overthrew the government. It was also another form of a revenge in the novel. So we see that Chief Nanga engages in vengeful action and he wanted to kill Odile on the, uh, his campaign inauguration grant. It was as a result of the help of the masses that Odile escaped and then he was hospitalized. Though Chief, Od Chief Od uh, Odile escaped the assassination or the revenge from uh, Chief Nanga by trying to contest against him. However, Maxwell was not able to escape. He was killed. And it, even, it was the death of Maxwell that prompted the overthrow of the government. Now, in another one, we have the theme of determination. Determination is who is so determined in the novel. One of the characters is Odile. He was so determined to revenge against Chief Nanga because he was so disappointed in the first instance that Chief Nanga had sexual affair with his girlfriend. So how can he revenge this? He is by trying to have sexual affair with the wife of Chief Nanga, which is Edna, at least the wife to be a lady that Chief Nanga wanted to marry or was planning to marry, and also wanted to take the parliamentary seat away from Odile so that he can use the political power to oppress Odile. It was another phase of revenge. His plan was to contest against Odile, win the parliamentary seat, and Odile will be out of power then, will be out of government. Then he will use his influence as the new minister of culture and the representative of, uh, um, of his uh, Anata and uh, Urua village to oppress Odile. Probably may even get Odile arrested and jail, but uh, to get Shivnanga arrested and jail. But Odile was not able to contest for the election. In fact, his name was not on the ballot because Shivnanga frustrated his political ambition in a way that he even manipulated the electoral body not to include the name of Odile on the ballot. So we saw that despite that, Odile was still determined. And Odile still determined to get uh, Edina. Later, he got Odina. We saw in chapter 7 to 8 how the father of Edina treated uh, Odile in a way that he was insulting Odile, he insulted Odile for Odile attempting to, uh, to friend uh, Edina or to have a relationship with Edina. And we also saw that Odile was, Odile's appointment was terminated in the Anata Grammar School because he wanted to contest against Chief uh, Nanga. So the principal sacked him and then almost every person in uh, Anata village were angry with Odile for attempting to contest against their oppressor. 
Even when not delay uh, campaign that his plan was to rescue the masses from the political oppression, they were not buying into his idea. They wanted Chief Nanga to continue oppressing them. And then we saw the team of betrayer. Who betray who in the novel? In fact, betrayer is a recurrent uh, motif in the novel as well. We saw that Chief Nanga betrayed Odile by having sexual affair with his girlfriend, Essie. And at the same time, we saw that Maxwell also betrayed Odile. How did Maxwell betray Odile? Maxwell betrayed Odile in the way that he accepted bribe from uh, Chief Coco. No. The during the formation of a CPC, that is a Common People's Convention Political Party, one of the uh, watchword was transparency and uh, probity. But we saw that even Maxwell, who is in the forefront of the formation of the political party, accepted bribe even before the election. He accepted bribe from Chief Coco not to contest against him. So, note that Chief uh, Nanga also wanted to bribe Odile. But Odile rejected the bribe. He offered Odile scholarship to go and study in London and then money. But Odile turned down the two offer. He called them bribe and he would not accept. He rather continued with a political uh, uh, ambition to, un to, uh, to unseat um, Chief Nanga. So we see in that that uh, it was a form of a political betrayal for Maxwell to accept bribe from. Um, from um, from Chief Coco, and also we saw that even SEF betrayed or delay by having an affair with having an affair with Chief Nanga, and uh, Chief Nanga we also deem it fit as a betrayer that Edina accepted to marry Odile. No, at the end of the novel, Odile, after being discharged from the hospital, went to the house of Edina's uh, father Odo, and then. Uh, he paid the bride price for Edina, and towards the ending of the novel, he married Edina. So that Chief Nanga will also consider that as a form of betrayal, that Edina, that he sponsored to school, not that for secondary education of Edina, it was Chief Nanga that paid the entire fee, was the one who sponsored Edina. So it was also another form of uh, betrayal. And Chief Nanga also took care of the, uh, of the model of Edina where uh, she was uh, uh, sick and hospitalized. Another one is political assassination. In fact, there was massive death in the novel. And one of the political assassinations seen in the novel is the killing of Maxwell by Chief Coco. Because Maxwell was gaining political influence in Abra. And it seems that the Common People's Convention political party may win the parliamentary seat. And that means Chief Coco will be on seat and he will no longer, will no longer have political power. So he deems it fit that the only way he can be able to retain his political influence and power is to assassinate Maxwell. And he plotted it with his political talks and they were able to carry out the plan when Maxwell was coming, was alighting from his uh, car immediately, mowing him down, crushing to death instantly. And he was rejoicing that, okay, he has taken Maxwell out of the way, then he would contest on the post. Because it was only him and Maxwell, the POP political party and the CPC political party. You are the two old political parties contesting for the parliamentary seat. Now he was having a form of uh, satisfaction and feeling that okay he would contest on the post no unknowing to him that okay Eunice was uh was having a, a gun pistol and then when Eunice shot him dead we can say at the end of the election nobody won all of them lose because Maxwell died Chief Coco also died and we also saw that Odile also the plan of Chief Nanga for Odile was to kill him and even though Odile survived because of the, uh, the help of the masses, of the crowd in the inauguration grant, he ended up in the hospital. In fact, he was in coma throughout the election period. And no vote was counted for him. In fact, his name was not even on the ballot paper because he, uh, Chief Nanga and his Nagavanga, his Nagavanga, the political dogs supporting him, working for him. So those people ensure that 
even the electoral body is bribed and shut down in a way that they will not include the name of uh, Odile in the uh, ballot paper. I know it was after election case. So taking the case to court again may not favor Odile because the judges and the others also are corrupt. So the people like Chief Nanga and some of the ministers will bribe the judges and then they will give a judgment in favor of, a, uh, of the electoral body. That is why they did not include the name of uh, Odile in the ballot favor. So that is uh, in uh, political assassination, the killing of Maxwell and the death of uh, Chief Coco. And also we see political violence like uh, the, the breaking of the leg of, uh, of Odile. You know, he had fracture. That was a political violence. Then another dominant theme in the novel is that of traditional prostitution. In fact, Odile was regarded as a bad child. Why? Because it is believed in the Urwa village that when a woman is giving birth to a child and the woman died in labor, it is a bad omen and the child is an evil child. That is another form of prostitution that the Urua people believes in where Odile comes from. So in the development of the character of Odile, we saw that the people in his village do not like him. They assume he's a bad child, that the mother died in childbirth. Even the father of Odile, he does not have a good relationship with Odile because he did not treat Odile well. He even focused marrying more wives. After the death of Odile's uh, mother, he married about another uh, four wives. So, that is one prostitution. Then another prostitution of traditional belief in the novel is in the farm of Chief Nanga. Chief Nanga had a farm. He used to farm himself anytime he comes to the village. And the farm is made of skin of animal. It's made of animal skin. So the people believe that he used that fan to find away all evil designs and shafts of malevolence thrown at him by the wicked one in the village of uh, Anata. So that fan that Chief Nanga used, traditionally, it is a symbol of uh, resistance to any evil uh, attempt to hurt him. So in, uh, in the novel also, we saw a lot of complacency and resignation. Who are those compl uh, complacent? The masses. The people that were oppressed by Chief Nanga, Chief Koko, and other political figures in the novel. We see that why the people were aware of the fraudulent acquisition of the estate by Chief Nanga, they did not do anything. They did not protest. He used the money for his constituency to build an estate and then to buy another estate. But nobody complained. In fact, they were even working for him so that they would be able to have a, a fragment of the national cake. So we, we saw that they, they resigned to fate. Even when that all of them were being treated as if they are lesser human beings by Chief Nanga and even Chief Koko in their various constituencies. Nobody protested. The only person that attempted to protest is Odile by attempting to contest against Chief Nanga. And even the people that Odile was representing or supporting, note that the, the, the political party, Common People's Convention, means the common, this is a movement of the common people, of the masses, to rescue the masses from the political exploitation. And we saw that the people even did not even support Odile or support the Common People's Political Party, CPC. They were more concerned about what can they get from Chief Nanga? What can they have from Chief Koko? So we see that even in the fictional country, nobody complained from any side, either from Urua village, from Anata village, from Bori city, or from uh, Abra. So all the masses in all the various villages and towns kept short, kept quiet. We are more concerned about what can they gain? How can they also be able to benefit from the, uh, from the exploitation of the, uh, the national treasury? So they resigned to fate. Those who could not say anything or could not even benefit, they resigned to fate. Why those 
who hope to benefit. We are struggling to build a relationship with the political elites so that they can also have access to the national cake. So there was a lot of complacency and resignation to faith. They resigned to the faith. They were not even interested in any form of liberation struggle. They were more concerned about what can they eat. The another one is women we are used as sexual to in the novel. In fact, almost every woman that we saw with Chief Nanga, he had sexual affair with them. His lawyer, Agnes Akilo, after the wife of Chief Nanga traveled to the village to go and, uh, go and do Christmas, to spend the, uh, the period to celebrate Christmas with the villagers, Chief Nanga invited Agnes, his lawyer. Even though Agnes studied in London and was one of the professionals in the novel, he still had sexual affair with Chief Nanga. Either for money or for sexual satisfaction or for emotional satisfaction. And then we saw that the ambassador's wife, you know, John was the America's ambassador to the country. His wife, Jean, also had sexual affair with Odile. Even though Odile was not having any intention of sexual affair with her. After the dinner, he invited Odile to the bedroom. And from there, they had sexual affair. And she was not worried. She was not concerned. She was not feeling guilty. After the sexual affair, he carried Odile in her car. And he began to, uh, to show Odile the beautiful areas in Ubori City. And also, we saw that even as the, the girlfriend of Odile, he had sexual affair with uh, Chief Nanga. So women, even the wife of Chief Nanga, Miss Nanga, was also used as sexual too. The only purpose that Chief Nanga said he wanted to marry Edina was to have a young girl that he would be having sexual affair with because the wife was no longer satisfying him. So he wanted somebody who is younger than the, uh, the first wife so that he can have sexual affair with her. So that was the only reason why he wanted to marry Edina. And then he began to sponsor his Edina to, to school secondary education and then pay the bill, the hospital bills for the mother. So all these were attempt to woo the young girl for sexual satisfaction. So all the women in the novel, even Eunice, Eunice, the fiancé of uh, Maxwell, you saw how he prompted or pressured uh, um, Maxwell for sexual affair. Even though the, it was not expressly stated, expressly stated in the novel, where the, there's no sexual scene between two of them in the novel. But we saw from their relationship that also they engage in sexual relationship. So we saw that, that the women are used, and also women were marginalized. So you can imagine in the novel where, um, in the situation whereby the husband is a minister of culture, and the wife is a complete housewife. He does not have any political post. He was not appointed to any governmental functionary. Though he was just a housewife, and then he spent some time in the in the in the city, and then she will go back to Anata in the village to go and spend time with her parent. So you saw that the women were relegated, marginalized, used as sexual too, and they oppressed in almost every aspect of the novel. So these are the eight um, major themes in the novel, and. Uh, we are going to be discussing the literary devices used in the novel in our subsequent uh, lecture. So uh, you can also, uh, if you have a question, you can post it on the comment section. I will reply. And uh, if you want us to discuss another aspect of the novel, apart from the literary devices, you can also notify me through the comments, through your comments. Uh, we reply and uh, we do it. I'll uh, have a good day and make sure you also subscribe to the channel thank you